Graduation is drawing near. We talked to a few MSU seniors to see what they've been doing or what they should be doing to prepare for life after college. I'm a middle school education major, and so I have to student teach in the fall. I'll be 12, 12 weeks in a middle school in Jefferson County and then four weeks in Belize. And then after that, I should be able to start looking for a job. Right now, I'm graduating with an occupational safety and health degree, so I'm going to be taking my second internship. I've applied for grad school and been accepted, so my internship that I'm taking will apply for grad school. I'm planning to go to graduate school, so I'm looking at schools right now and applications together. I'm planning to be an actuary, and in order to do that, I have to pass an actuary exam, so I've just been studying for it. I've got a lot more college to go. I'm planning on getting a, a master's, so I guess the steps that I'm working on right now are as an art major, getting into shows and trying to uh, widen my portfolio and uh, get out there in the world as much as I possibly can. I guess uh, things I'm doing to prepare are always to keep working and try to make money. I started sending out applications to the possible employers with my resume uh, back at the beginning of this year. Um, and in addition to that, I did a couple of internships in the summers while I was attending college. Um, mostly is keeping your resume up to date and uh, staying, staying in touch with the job market and uh, making sure you're getting your name out, going to job fairs, uh, looking at potential employers on the internet. And, uh, as long as you get your name out there and uh, send in enough applications, uh, did several interviews and I've actually got a job coming up for the summer, um, starting out. So, uh, like I said, Mostly it's uh, getting your name out, keeping your resume up. And that's all for now. Until next time, I'm David Dykes telling you to go to the news.org for more campus news and life updates. We'll see you next time.